Hi there. Today, we're going to be playing Hide and Seek. Yay! I'll be it. Ready? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, you'll be caught. Oh no, where should I hide? Behind the fridge? It's too easy. In the pantry? It's too tight. Under the table? Dusty, but it'll have to do. Anyone in here? Under the sink? Un not under the sink. In the pantry? No. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh. What was? That! You got me. Yay! <laughs> now, time to find Johnny. I need a hiding place, quick. Or I need a blanket monster. Johnny! Oh, Johnny! Under the bed? No. Under the blankets? No. I know you're in here! Look at me! I see you found Johnny. Now, whose turn is it next? I'm too tired. Me too. Papa, will you read to us? Okay. One story before dinner. should surprise him. With Blanket Monster? Papa loves Blanket Monster. You know, Papa makes us yummy food. We should make him breakfast. In bed. I think we should make him pancakes. We can't cook without Papa. Let's make him toast. This doesn't look very yummy. Oh! It 
It just needs jelly. Take care of us. So today we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> oh. How about we all make some pancakes together? Yay! Pancakes! We love you, Papa. Booga booga! Hello, Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to do a new challenge called the Taste Test. Our contestants today are Chamberlain and Calvin. Hi! We're going to blindfold ourselves and taste test different mystery foods. Then we're going to try to guess what each food was. After we taste test a mystery food, we'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin! Here's our first food. The first mystery food is celery. How does that food feel in your hand? It feels really ruggedy. It feels hard with ridges. How does it smell? Like grass. Oh, like cat food. What color do you think it is? I think it's green. Orange? What does it taste like? Like leaves off a tree. Like seawater. What food do you think you just ate, Calvin? Sardines. And Chamberlain? I think it's celery. Let's move on to our next food. The next food is cabbage. How does this food feel in your hand? A brain! Feels like wet crumpled paper. How does it smell? Like the ocean. It smells like water. What color do you think it is? Turquoise. Blue. How does it taste? Like paint. Tastes like water. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Broccoli pizza. Calvin? Cabbage. Let's move on to our third mystery food. Here's our third food. Third food is raw potatoes. There you go. There you go. How does that food feel in your hand? Like a weight. Feels gritty. How does it smell? <laughs> like a fresh garden salad. It smells like dirt. What color do you think it is? Purple. Brown. Definitely brown. How does it taste? Like deodorant. Still dirt. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Wood. Calvin? An undercooked potato. Here's our last food. The last food is green beans. How does this food feel in your hand? Like a violin string. 
soggy crayon. How does it smell? Mmm, delicious. Smells woody. What color do you think it is? Green. Red. How does it taste? Mmm, excellent. Tastes sweet. Calvin, what food do you think you just ate? A vegetable. Can you be specific, please? Rutabaga. And Chamberlain? Green beans, definitely. Okay, please remove your blindfolds and let's see who guessed correctly. The first food was celery, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. The second food was cabbage, which means Calvin guessed correctly. The third food was raw potatoes, which means Calvin guessed correctly again. And the last food was green beans, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. That means it's a tie game. Good job, guys. I tasted so many delicious foods today. My favorite was cabbage. My favorite was green beans. Thanks for playing with us today. We'll see you next time on Playhouse Challenge. It's time to sing. Who would like to pick the first song? Ooh, me, me. Okay, Mary, what song should we sing first? Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's a great choice. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. This song is boring. Let's play Blanket Monster. Like a diamond in the sky, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Johnny! I'm Blanket Monster. Blanket Monster, you interrupted our song. Would you like to sing with us? How about you choose a song? I know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. That's a fun one. Let's try it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the boat. Papa, Johnny's messing up our songs. Johnny, right now it's time to sing. Blanket Monster doesn't want to sing. He wants to scare people. Maybe we could sing a scary song. A song about Blanket Monster? There's no song about Blanket Monster. Oh, Blanket Monster. Would you like to hear your very own song? Okay. The monster on the bus goes Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga. <laughs> The monster on the bus goes ooga booga all through the town. Ooga booga! Way to go, Blanket Monster! I like this song. <laughs> ooga booga! Good morning. Did you know it's April Fool's Day? Let's play a prank on Papa. Good morning to you, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to you, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Johnny! <laughs> oh, Teddy. Good morning, Mary. Thanks, Papa. 
Good morning. Good morning, Johnny. Mmm, pancakes. Mmm. Here you go. Mmm, orange juice. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Weird blanket monster likes carrot juice. <laughs> what? Happy, Happy April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, hi everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse Kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. pizza. Yes. Yes. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now what we want to do is we're going to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin that way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Louie. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't <laughs> think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good. But it's like I... Oh, I don't want it! <laughs> you guys give it a try, that's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a Frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what, are you, what would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that a pizza. what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm going to put a little avocado here. So you're going to go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you going to go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just want to like eat it. Ah, it <laughs> won't be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado, I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm going to put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right. So now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the <laughs> oven. <laughs> you always want to be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right. And we wait. Oh, goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's gonna be really good. All right. And you're excited to try it yours? So good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. Alright. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. 
How about yours? <laughs> Oh, it's a little hot, so I don't know. It's a little hot. All right. So, we have a few final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit! We'll see you next time, Mother Beach. See you next time. <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? We'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A um, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's hot. It's spicy. Oh, it's hot. Know, to you. Oh. A, a little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Oh, really salty. Really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> kind of tastes like the aquarium smells. <laughs> okay, it's time to write a letter to Grandma. <gasps> Yay! Grandma, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see. Ah! Johnny! Papa! Huh? Johnny almost hit me with his marker. I don't want to ride. I want to play Blanket Monster. I have an idea. Have you ever seen Blanket Monster write a letter? No. Can I borrow this? Dear Grandma. All right, and now it's time for a get up and move break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew. Okay, and now it's time to sit back down. Can I try? Sure, Mary. Today, we're playing Blanket Monster. Now it's time for a monster dance. Ooga booga! Ooga booga! Ooga booga! My turn! Blanket monster. Now it's time to chase my family. Break time. I can't wait to see you and Grandpa. We can play Blanket Monster together too. Great job, Blanket Monster! Hi, Mother Goose Club! My name is Ruby, and today I'm making a pizza with my friends. What they don't know is that I'm going to be dressing up as Blanket Monster and pranking them. <laughs> Make a pizza, roll out the dough, toss it up high, stretch it out slow, 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 spread on tomato sauce, sprinkle on the leaves. Let's make a pizza, 
up high. Stretch it out slow, slow, slow. Spread on tomato sauce. Sprinkle on cheese. Put on some pepperoni. Yeah, it kind of did taste like fruit. Oops. Where's my cookie? 
Father, we haven't even done yet. Whose hand is this? It's your father's hand. Oh, I have a father. Gross. Alright, you ready for cookie number seven? Regular cookie, but chocolate cookie. Yeah, regular cookie. Uh, yeah, regular and what chocolate cookie. And regular and chocolate cookie. Chocolate. All right, original Oreo. Good job. Yes. Wait, is it the chocolate one? Yes, the original chocolate. Baby. Are we done? One more cookie. Okay. All right, remember to have the blindfold on. Yes. Do some pop locking first. Mm -hmm. Pop lock. I wanna pop lock. Alright, here you go. Last and final cookie. The ruckus. This is the ruckus. There's something in my hand. Hey, um, it's the original. It's the original cookie, but it's golden. No, this one's birthday cake. This one's so much. Yeah, this one's birthday cake. Yeah, and the beast. King said, what, what flavor is it? Yeah, I think birthday cake. Birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Birthday cake all day. Birthday cake! Yes. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> and that is the Oreo challenge. You guys enjoy that? Yeah. Hey, people! Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> we hope you guys had a fun time with us and enjoyed watching us. We'll see you again soon. From the ruckus, everybody say bye. Bye! This is what the birthday cake looked like. It has tiny sprinkles in it. Yeah, look at the sprinkles. Bye-bye oh. birthday. Hello, Mother Goose Club. I'm here with my friends, Darby and Ariana, and we're gonna be doing a Pringles taste test. Okay, you guys are gonna have to put some blindfolds on. All right. Okay. Okay, here's our first mystery Pringle. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never had this one. Oh, it tastes good. I've never... Wow, I don't know this? what this would be. <laughs> I think it's dill. Is it like dill? Mm, or like is a it... dill pickle? Yeah. It kind of tastes like... I'm gonna go with dill pickle. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with sweet relish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery Pringle number two. Um, I'm gonna go with barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think it's okay. barbecue. Yeah. Mystery Pringle number three. This one might be a little more tricky than the last one. Okay. I think it'll taste good though. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Tasting. I don't know either. <laughs> it tastes like it doesn't have a flavor. Oh, it smells really good. Do you need um, to try another one? Mustard? Okay. I think. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Okay. I think it's mustard. original. Original? Okay. Okay, mystery pringle number four. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. I know this, but I don't know what the word is. Like, oh, it smells like. It tastes like um, chili. Yes, it's chili. Yeah, chili, for sure, for sure. Do I have to finish this? I'm huh? taking so long. No, you don't have to finish mm. it. You don't want to. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. <laughs> okay, number five. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's ranch. Ranch? I would think this is the original. It just kind of tastes like potato mm, chips. Yeah. Are you changing mm. your answer? Um, yeah, I think I think this one is original. It's yeah. It's salty. Number six. <laughs> mm, I'm scared. <laughs> hmm? Wait. I'm really clueless. Hmm. Just make a wild guess. Lemon, lime, uh, 
ranch. Lemon, okay. Lemon lime ranch? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go with ranch because I haven't guessed that one I yet. Still, and I, I still taste don't chili. Know. Is your mouth burning? Because <laughs> if you know, my <laughs> mouth is not burning. Your mouth should not burn from a, a, a chili flavored potato chip though. Okay, this is know. number seven. Salt and vinegar, so, good. Salt and vinegar? Yeah, I think this is salt and vinegar. I think it's cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah. Okay. I really still have like so much flavors in my mouth. I know. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one is mystery pinkle number eight. Salt and vinegar. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, this is mystery Pringle number nine. Sour cream and onion, <laughs> definitely. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. Our last mystery Pringle, number 10. <laughs> Any guesses? Uh, I'm, taco? I recognize <laughs> this flavor, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's taco, or taco? cheeseburger, or... Mm -hmm. Oh, cheeseburger, that's probably a good guess. I think I'm it's... gonna go with taco. taco. Taco? But I feel like I stole it from you. No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now it's time to tally our scores and see who won the Pringle Taste Test Challenge. Okay, can we take off our blindfolds? Sure. For our first mystery Pringle flavor, Ariana, you guessed dill pickle, and Darby, you guessed sweet relish. And the flavor for the first mystery Pringle, was cheeseburger. What? What? <laughs> that totally tasted, tasted like um, well, well, you have dill, dill sauce. pickles on <laughs> cheeseburgers. For our second mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed barbecue and you were right. For our third mystery Pringle, Ariana, you guessed mustard and you guessed original. And the answer was <laughs> honey mustard. So no, you, you got, you got it. Yes! And you got it. That, that was smart. It wasn't even bad. I don't even like mustard. But it <laughs> tasted good. Mustard. And for our fourth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed chili, and you were right. And for the fifth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed original, and you guys were right again. And for our sixth mystery Pringle, you guessed ranch, mm -hmm. and you guessed lemon lime ranch. <laughs> and the answer was zesty salsa. Oh, that was the lime. So you yeah. were kind of you were closer. I was actually, like the lemon lime. Ranch. Yeah, you were you were kind of close. <laughs> okay, and for our seventh mystery Pringle, you guessed cheddar and you mm -hmm. guessed salt and vinegar, and the answer was ranch. What? Oh, <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. I want to taste these again without being blindfolded and see if they taste different. <laughs> right. I know what it is. And for the eighth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed salt and vinegar, and you were right. Okay, and for our ninth, you guys both guessed sour cream and onion, and you were right again. It was sour cream and onion. We didn't do too bad. No, you no, guys did we pretty good. Okay. You guys yeah. did pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and for our last one, you guys both guessed taco, but the answer was pizza. Pizza. What? <laughs> oh, I guess I can see that. Or taste that. Okay, and for our final scores, the winner is drum roll, please. Ariana! Yes! Good job. Good it job. was really you close. Too. You had six and you had five. Okay. So it was it very was close. close call. Yeah. Yeah. Very close. Good yeah. job. Good job. You too. Nailed it. Thank you for watching Mother Goose Club. Bye. Bye. Well, hello friends. My name is Janet and I am here today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Let me introduce my friends. This is Gianna. Hi. And this is Ethan. Hi. They're brother and sister. They're my neighbors. They come over often and we do crazy things like today. So yep. today is a taste test challenge. So, ooh. ooh, any ideas what we might be tasting? Today, we're gonna be tasting baby food. <laughs> So, put these blindfolds on. 
There you go. I think I might actually like some of them. Well, I'm kind of wondering about baby food because I don't really remember eating anything when I was a baby. Well, right now I want you to pretend like if you were a very hungry baby, what kinds of sounds would you be making? <laughs> that would, really? See, I would think that maybe you just needed to change your diaper on that one. I want to hear a hungry baby sound. Because um, I got one. You want to hear mine? Yes. Feed <laughs> me. No, I guess you don't talk when you're a baby. So, how about this? I want you to get ready. I'm going to grab uh, something here. I'm going to put it on your spoon. So, I'm going to keep keeping score here. So, have a taste at it. What do you think that uh, tastes like? Very mushy. Mushy, all tastes right. Tastes like ketchup. Ketchup, really? Ooh, it tastes like this type of fruit I really like, but I can't I name it. Maybe right. you like a pear or an apple? Pear or apple, okay. All right, so um, I've heard a lot of things here, but I want uh, your final guess. Apple, apple cider. Or apple cider, okay. And what is your final guess there, Gianna? Apple. All right, so. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. No, don't be scared. All right, so take a... Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. Let's see, um... If you have a final guess here, so other than not good... Uh, I'm just gonna say squash, I don't know. Okay, squash. All right, what's your final answer there, Ethan? Asparagus. Asparagus, wow. All right, so here you guys go. This is number three. Any ideas? More liquidy than the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really liquidy. It's like not a usual taste. It not tastes like the you know, that flower artichoke. Like yeah, maybe like it. artichoke. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's, oh. it's weird tasting. Okay, so we're gonna go. So your final answers are artichoke for that one. Yes. yes. All right. So hand me those spoons back. All right. Hopefully it's fruity. Like yeah. well, fruit. Ooh, that went a little everywhere. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking there? Ooh. Ooh. This one actually tastes like artichoke. Wow, we have more artichokes. I, I promise you they're not all artichokes. I think I know what it is. What do you think? Peas, like green peas or something. All right, green peas. What's your final answer over there? You're still going with artichoke? No. No? It's not good at all. Peas. Asparagus. Wow, so the final answer is asparagus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. Oh, this should be awesome. This sounds amazing. Should remind you of a holiday, all right? What do you think? Potato, but... Ooh, I don't, like, okay. Potato what? All right, what about you? It's weird. <laughs> all right, so other than weird, final answer. Oh, I'm um, just going to say potato. I can't really think of anything else. All right, I think it's potato, too. Are you just copying? Nope. It tastes like this burnt weird potato. Burnt weird potato. Okay, that's what we'll say there. If you don't like this one, I'm going to be super, super surprised. Am I right? Is it good? Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Like, like a like, uh, cinnamon apple. I forgot what they're called. It's like cinnamon and apples. Cinnamon apple. This was a delicious one, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, here you go. Here's oh, there. Oh. there. Okay, there you go. Everybody's got theirs. Okay, good, good. It tastes like grape. Grape? I huh. say apple and pear. Um, I'm going to go with pear. You're going with pear. Okay, so, all right. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm scared. Ugh. Oh, what? I just said a little bit. It's like really thick and more of a solid than a liquid. I, I know this taste, but I can't. Broccoli. <laughs> Why do you say broccoli with such vengeance? Okay, what about you? Um. Final answer. Green peas. All right. All right, so rate this one for me. I know about this one. Okay, you don't know. Okay, so final answer if you're just gonna guess. Um, carrot. Okay. It does not taste like a carrot to me. Okay, what does it taste like to you? Final answer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Squash. Okay, squash. All right, there you go. Final, final one. Oh, let's see. Is this one a good one? I think it's a good one. It is good, but I can't. It's good, but you can't really place it. Yeah, because of all the other tasting. Oh, so, it's, so oh, it's your palate has not been cleansed. Mm. What are you thinking? Final answer here. Strawberry. Right? Oh, strawberry. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go with strawberry. We are now, it's, have reached that moment where we're going to tabulate 
and see who got the most things right here on our baby food challenge. So I'm looking at the flavors and there's zucchini, broccoli, medley. Wait till you figure Ew. this out. So number one, <laughs> number one, Gianna, you said it was mushy and fruit and you finally said your final answer was apple. Yes. You actually said ketchup of all things at very first and yeah. then you finally said apple cider, but it was in fact banana. Yes. That was banana? That was banana, the very first one. So for number two, you said your go-to answer here was either asparagus. Yeah, that's, that's what you say here. And then yours, you said uh, some type of squash. That was the old rice and lentils. Number three, uh, you said horrible and artichoke, right? That's what you said. And then yep. you said more liquidy, uh, uh, not as artichoke. And believe it or not, that was actually what we we're calling zucchini broccoli medley. Ew! Yeah. So maybe there was a little bit of artichoke in there. So, so because neither one of you has scored a point, I'm gonna give you, we don't know what the medley might also include. I'm gonna maybe give you a point for that. So sorry, Gianni, of zero. Now, <laughs> for number four, all right, uh, you said, oh, you like totally went like gross and you said, you went back to saying it was asparagus. Yeah. You said green peas, not good. It was actually green peas. Yours for the win. So then the one that I said that may have tasted a bit like the holidays, you know what you said? I said potato. You So you're gonna get a point for that because it was sweet potato, right? Oh. Sweet potato and chicken. Did anybody and taste chicken? chicken? And yeah, chicken. chicken was in there. Did you taste the chicken? Because yeah. you apparently did not, but you did say weird burnt potato. So I'm gonna give you, all right, I'm gonna give you a point. So right now, yeah, right tie. now it's a tie, two to two right here. So then the next one, you guys said, you said pear, you yes. said grape, but in fact, it was apples. Oh, yep. That was right. apples. Yep. And then the next one here, you said green peas, you said broccoli, but it was actually vegetable turkey dinner. So next, number nine, uh, you said squash, and you said totally not good, you said carrot, and that was the summer vegetable dinner. So, because I can't know what they say, and uh, well, let's see here. It has a carrot right Oh, there. yep, it's got a carrot. And ooh, it says squash, so you both get a point for that. So it's now three to three. Oh. Let's find out for this last one. What do you think? They both said strawberry. I think I'm gonna win. Nope. Both of you said strawberry. It is prunes. <gasps> so, officially here on the Mother Goose Club Playhouse, it is a tie. So raise your hands in victory. Three to three, we tied in the baby food taste test challenge. All right, we'll see you next time when uh, who knows what we'll be tasting. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Now, you sure you wouldn't want some more pears or raspberries? I'm good. All right, what about the apples? Anybody? Um, no. Hello, friends. My name is Janet, and you are joining us today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. You have something for me to try today, so tell me about what you have in store for us. Okay, so today we're going to do the Bean Boozled Challenge. We have a spinner, and each person will take turns spinning it, mm -hmm. and then whatever the arrow lands on, each person will grab that color jelly bean, and if you cannot take it, then, you know, you can just spit it out in here. So, Ethan? Would you like to go first? Okay, land on something good. Coconut or baby wipes? <gasps> Coconut or baby wipes? On your mark, get okay. set, go. Oh, no. No, definitely a baby wipe. But it's baby wipes. <laughs> baby wipes. I'm gonna take it though. Cause it, hopefully we get Oh, whoa, that's a big spin. Uh-oh. Oh, tooty, fruity, or stinky socks. Please, no stinky. One, two, two three. three. Tootie fruity. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! No boozle in here. <laughs> Stinky sauce. Sorry. For the first time, I actually got tootie fruity. Tootie fruity. All right, may the bean boozlers be with me here. Here we go. Caramel corn <gasps> or moldy cheese. Here we go, everybody. One, two, two three. three. I'll be back. I gotta brush my teeth. Oh, God. 
Okay, of all the things I've ever eaten in the entirety of the known world, that <laughs> might have been the worst. Come on, pick a good one. Peach or bar? <gasps> uh, no! I, I thought it couldn't get worse after moldy cheese. Let, let's go really slowly on this. One, two, three. three. Oh! I can't tell. That's exactly... Oh. So whose turn is it now? Mine. No! Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Oh. It's the brown ones. Okay, so here we go. Chocolate, please, oh please be chocolate. Not chocolate, dog. chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, hot dog food. One, One two, three. three. I'm glad I'm not a dog. <laughs> so stick around, tune in again, and who knows what we'll be doing on Mother Goose Club Playhouse the next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Mary, catch. Johnny. Mary, Johnny, are you okay? Mary won't play with me. Hmm. How about we play a game that everyone will enjoy? Let's play the rhyming game. I want to play. I don't know. You can each choose a word to rhyme with. Johnny, do you want to pick first? Uh. Ooh, I know. Car. That's a great rhyming word. What about you, Mary? I want to rhyme with the word fun. Let's get ready to play. Booga, booga. <laughs> a word that rhymes with car or fun. Sun. That rhymes with fun. Sun and fun. Great job. Here comes the next one. St uh, R. That rhymes with k R. Great rhyming. My turn. My turn. OK. Here comes the other one. Home run. This one is hard. Let's sound it out, Johnny. O -n -r -a -n -k -r. I don't think those sound the same. Now let's try fun. O -n -r -a -n -k -a -n. Home run and fun rhyme. I'm tired. I need to rest. One more time. Please, I have a new word. Okay, one more time. What's your word? Ooga rhymes with booga. <laughs> <laughs> Playground time! Oh no! Now we can't play outside. Maybe it will stop? <sighs> I'm bored. Why'd you do that? There's nothing to do! Nothing to do? I have the perfect rainy day game. Pass the parcel! Yay! Come on! Is 
Everyone ready? Yeah! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Ooh. Yellow! The driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back. Move on back, the driver on the bus goes move on back All through the town My turn, drum roll please More wrapping paper Boo, boo, no present for you The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round On the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. One. Purple. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. wrappings can one present have? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Come on, come on. I win. What a great prize. Can we play outside now? Nah. Hi everyone, and welcome to Outer Space. I'm here with my friends and fellow space explorers, Natalie and Victoria. Today, we're having a special space-themed playhouse challenge. What's all this spaghetti and marshmallows for? Great question. For today's challenge, we're going to see who can build the tallest rocket ship out of marshmallows, spaghetti, kite string, and masking tape. You're each going to be able to use a yard of kite string, a yard of masking tape, and spaghetti. 20 pieces of them. There's one rule. You're not allowed to skewer the marshmallow with the spaghetti. So, you have 10 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah! On your marks, get set, blast off! <laughs> Alright, well, time is up. Victoria, please, talk me through your creation. In order to make my creation acceptable, mm. I use the broomstick method, where you tie a bunch of spaghetti together. That way it fans out in a nice way, so that at the top of the broomstick, you have a nice little seating area for your marshmallow. Quite creative. And Natalie, please, what was going on through your head as you were building your creation? Uh, well, I was kind of worried that it was going to fall over and break. And the base did, but I wanted it to be sturdy so it could go into a pyramid so the astronaut could sit right there. And then I built an extension really high up. Very smart. Now, we all know the rules. The rocket ship that was the highest wins, but the two marshmallows had to be higher in order to truly win. So for this challenge, both of you won. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Well, that is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's challenge. This is the Mother Goose Club Space Station crew signing off. 
See you next time. Blanket Monster! Hi, Hi I'm Amara, and today we're going to play Blanket Monster! Did I scare you? Come on, let's go scare my little brother Clark. Monster is so much fun! Uncle Bray! Do you know what else we can do with these blankets? What? what? Who wants to build a blanket board? Me! <laughs> Thanks Bye. for playing today! Bye. Bye. Bye! Hello friends! My name is Janet and you are joining us today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Do you have something for me to try today? So tell me about what you have in store for us. Okay, so today we're going to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. We have a spinner and each person will take turns spinning it. Mm -hmm. And then whatever the arrow lands on, each person will grab that color jelly bean. And if you cannot take it, then, you know, you can just spit it out in here. Now it's my turn. Oh, okay. Okay. Licorice or skunk spray? Come Good on! Good grief, kiddos! All right, okay. one, two, two. <laughs> three. three. Licorice, yay! Licorice, and for the first time in my life, I have, I'm not crazy about it, but my, did you get skunk? I can smell it. <laughs> How many more can there possibly be? <gasps> Berry, blue, or toothpaste. Mm. I don't really care which one it is. Berry, blue. I got blueberry. I got toothpaste. I think toothpaste is good. Have I missed a turn? Feels like I missed a turn. <gasps> no! <laughs> no, what, 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 what? Lime or lawn clippings? I suppose that would be the green one. <laughs> yes. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Definitely can taste the chlorophyll. Tastes like I just mowed the yard. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Are you kidding me? Okay. Three, nine, seven. Two, one, we're counting backwards. Wow. That is awful. That is, okay, hold on. I gotta splash water in my face with that. We haven't done juicy bear, pear or booger. Yeah, so we haven't done booger. One, two, three. Uh-uh. I'm no stuck way. in my tooth, I can't get it out! Good grief! <laughs> 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 so I think that if we were going to declare a champion of the bean boozling uh, thing here, that would be our big round of applause for the best boozler. Alright, so stick around, tune in again, and who knows what we'll be doing on Mother Goose Club Playhouse the next time. See you next time! Bye! Bye. Hi there! Today we're playing... Okay, so today we have Mary. I love letters. Versus Johnny. I'm the fastest and the best. Ooga Ooga. Ooga. <laughs> All right, kids, get ready. Get set. 
Who can find something with the letter Okay, Mary, let's see what you found. Leaf. Leaf starts with L. Ding, ding, ding. Very good, Mary. But I found a lawnmower. Lawnmower. That's way better than a leaf. Lawnmower. That is a good L word. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Great. Who can find something that starts with the letter? I won, I won. Good job, Johnny. What did you find that starts with the letter C? Kite. K -k -k Kite starts with the letter C. I win. Uh-oh, I'm afraid kite starts with the letter K. K and C make the same K sound. That one was tricky. Cat, I found a cat. K -k -k cat starts with C. I don't like this game. Don't give up, Johnny. How about we try again? Who can find something that starts with the letter B? Blanket monster. B -b -b Blanket monster starts with the letter B. I win! I didn't even get to run! Ooga booga! Ooga booga! <laughs> Thanks for playing with us! We'll see, see you, you next time! time. Hello there. Let's see how many stuffed animals are on my bed. One, two, three. Today, I'm playing... Blanket Monster! Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Booga booga! Johnny! Mary, are you okay? Papa, Johnny messed up my counting. Johnny, what do we say to Mary? Ooga booga. Let's try that again. Sorry, Mary. How about we see if I have enough apples for my pie? Okay. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 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 oh. Johnny! I have an idea. Ready? One, two, Three. Here we go again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! ten. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, blanket monster! Do I have my ball outside? Sure. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to play a new game called The Taste Test. Let's meet our contestants, Ethan and Maggie. Hi! We're going to be blindfolded and eat different types of mystery foods. And then we'll try to guess the mystery foods we just ate. After we taste test a mystery food, 
We'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin. The first food is apples. How does that feel in your hand? Smooth, kind of point. Feels like it has a stick on top. Round, and it feels like it might be shiny. How does it smell? Fruity. Delicious. What color do you think it is? Green? Red. How does it taste? Sweet and juicy. Crunchy and sweet. What food do you think you just ate? A pear? An apple. Please lift up your blindfold and let's find out who guessed correctly. Maggie, you are correct. It was an apple. That means you get one point and Ethan gets no points. Sorry. Let's try another mystery food. Please put your blindfolds back on. The second mystery food is oranges. Go. How does that food feel in your hand? Bumpy, lumpy, and... Rough, ridgy, and spongy. How does it smell? Fresh, tropical. Smells like breakfast. Tangy, citrusy, and zesty. What color do you think it is? I think it's orange. I think it's yellow. And now, have a taste. Here you go. Here you go. What does this food taste like? Sweet, juicy, delicious. Sour, but also sweet. Very unique. What food do you think you just ate? I know, it's an orange. No, it's definitely a lemon. Please put your forks down and lift up your blindfold. The correct food is oranges. Ethan gets one point. Sorry, Maggie, you get no point. It's a tie game. Okay, let's get ready for our last mystery food. Please put your blindfolds back on. The last mystery food is peaches. Here you go. Here you go. How does this food feel in your hand? Hairy, fuzzy, kind of tickles your fingers. Squishy, soft, and very fuzzy. How does it smell? Yummy. It kind of smells like my favorite fruit pie. What color do you think it is? Pink, yellow, Orange? There you go. What does this food taste like? It's too mushy and feels like I'm eating a slug. This is delicious, quite peachy. What food do you think you just ate? I think I just ate a pink slug. I know I just ate a peach. Okay, please put down your forks and lift up your blindfolds. The correct answer is peaches. That means Maggie is our grand prize winner of yes. today's Playhouse Challenge. Yes. Good job, Ethan. Good, Good job, job, Maggie. Thanks. Good job, Maggie. I tasted so many delicious foods today, but my favorite was definitely the peach. My favorite was the orange. And remember to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Thanks for playing with us on today's Mother Goose Club Playhouse!
challenge. Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club. Hey, Mother Goose Club. My name is Zion, and this is Diego from Kingston, and this is my dad. And today we're going to be doing the Bean Boozle Challenge. Let's get started. Hey, how about if Daddy goes first? No. Yeah, Daddy goes first. Yeah. I flick it. All right, I so flick I flick it. Yeah. Chocolate pudding. Or candy dog, dog food. We all okay. can take it. I can't take it. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Drop it. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, What'd you get? You got chocolate? I got, I got canned dog food. <laughs> <laughs> no. My turn. Mm. My turn. Caramel corn or moldy cheese? Oh, ready? Thank you. Let's go. Ready. Or what? Moldy cheese? Oh. Go. Very, very little. That last one was terrible. 
terrible. Oh my gosh. It's okay, toothpaste and berry blue. Yeah, berry and toothpaste. I don't need it. One, two, three, let's go! So bad. They really do. Here, one more, one more. No. One more, you guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. One more. Look, two more. This is your last one. No, this, this is a rotten milk one. You're, it's your favorite thing, <laughs> coconut. <laughs> favorite thing, coconut. Come on, if you get coconut, you might have a happy life. Goose Club Playhouse.